So I have another houseplant haul, but this is kind of more of a rehab houseplant haul. I went to Morrison's the other day and um, they had, a, I don't really go to Morrison's that much, um, but they had a really good houseplant section. So I had a look and they had a lot of really reduced plants that kind of needed a lot of TLC. So I picked some up because there were a few plants that I've been wanting for a while and I managed to find them for really cheap. So I thought, why not? So I'm just gonna show you the plants I got. So the first one I got was an orchid and this was reduced because as you can see, it is, it's in very bad condition. So if you find an orchid for three pounds 50, you have to get it. And I've been watching a lot of Miss Orchid Girl and how to kind of help recover dying orchids. So I think I'm gonna be able to save this. So the first thing I did was I give it a good drink. It just looked like it was severely dehydrated. I don't think there's anything massively wrong with this I just think it needs a while to recoup I also removed the spent flower spike and I was happy with the medium it was in so I just decided to leave it in there I might repot it a bit later on see how it does so I think the only thing that was wrong with this one was that it had kind of passed its flowering period and the flowers had dropped off and obviously because it doesn't look very pretty anymore the staff hadn't been watering it so hopefully I should be able to recover this one I don't know what color the flowers are I think they were purple just going by the kind of dying buds that were still in the pot. I'm happy to have another orchid in my collection. And it came with a really pretty pot, so even if I can't save the orchid, I've got a really nice pot. And the next one is definitely the worst one from the haul. I think this is a Trisantia. I've probably said that completely wrong. I've probably got the plant wrong as well. But it's just this really pretty white and purple plant. The underneath just looks really, really nice. It just has a vibrant purple color. And this is a really cheap house plant that I've seen I think this is a fairly common house plant. I've seen it really cheaply, like in every shop I go into. Notice, especially on Etsy, when people do sell this plant, they tend to sell the cuttings for like three pounds each for like that big of a cutting. And to this one, because it is so kind of damaged, it was only one pound fifty. So I definitely need to remove all of the dead parts of the plant. But I think the rest is going to be absolutely fine. And it was such a pretty plant, and I love pink plants, so I had to get it, especially with one pound fifty. Um, so that is that one. The next one I got was a croton. This pot is very mucky just because um, it was wet when I was repotting it. I did have one of these before and it died. I don't know if I over or underwatered it, so hopefully this one will be okay. Uh, this was three pounds. I'd been wanting to replace the one I killed anyway, so I knew I had to get it. And it's just in this really nice orange pot that I got from Wilkinson's a couple of months ago. I do think crotons are definitely underrated because they're just so vibrant and bright. I just think they're absolutely lovely. I'm not a massive fan of dark green foliage, but I do like the colours on this, especially the back of the leaves, which is this really pretty uh, burnt red and amber colour. So I got another one to replace the one that I killed. And then this one is probably one of my favourite plants in my collection now. And I think this one was around two pounds. This one, it did have another flower with it, but it was completely dead, so I removed that. I know that this is a really common plant. It's always in everyone's like houseplant tours or shop tours. And I don't know, I never used to really care about it, but I saw it in another houseplant tour and it just really grew on me from there. It's just this really pretty like lime green uh, mixed with this slightly darker green. I'm still new to this. I don't really know how to describe the plants other than it's green, so you had to bear with me. Um, but yeah, like I said, I paid definitely less than two pounds for this. And it's now one of my favorite plants in my collection. So I'm happy with that. And the last one I got was a, this was labeled as a Christmas cactus, but I think it's a Thanksgiving cactus just based on how spiky the spikes are. I don't really know what you'd call them. Um, I did watch a Summer Rain Oaks video on how to identify it, the, whether something's a Christmas and Easter or a Thanksgiving cactus. But I bought a pink one from Lidl a couple of days ago and I really love it. It was less than like two pounds. And um, I found a video by Harley's mum, I think she's called Steph, I'm not too sure, um, where she was pollinating, she was crossbreeding them. And so I really wanted to get a different colour so I could try uh, germinating different seeds. Um, so I have this really pretty light pink one, which it al it's almost white, some of the flowers. It's so, so pretty. It does look like it's about to drop its bloom. So I am going to try and germinate this and I will film that video. So hopefully that will work. I think it takes like six months for the seeds to kind of produce. I don't know if it will take because it's going to be my first time doing that. Yeah, I just thought it was such a pretty plant and this was three pounds. I don't think it was reduced. I think it actually was just meant to be a three pound. But um, I've seen these again on eBay for like 10 pounds, which these are like, whenever I've seen these in shops, they've been really cheap. So 
I knew I had to get that one. So that was my kind of slightly dying houseplant tour. I am going to try and save all of these. I might do an update video eventually. I might do an update video in a few months just to see if I have been able to save them. The only one that I kind of don't think will make it is probably the orchid, but we will see. But I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time.